Hello and welcome to Usain. My name is Bertrand and I'm going to give you a tour of the dashboard first. So the dashboard is where all your designs will be saved and will be accessible in the future. So as soon as you log in, um, you'll get into the My Designs page. And this is simply a list of your designs. So you can see here on the top, I have some folders. I'll show you that in a second. And then I have a list of um, all the designs I've created. Um, so this is um, a company account we use to create our, our, our marketing graphics for Usain. So as you can see, um, as you start using Usain, you know, you'll populate it with um, uh, um, all your branding and all your marketing graphics. Um, so the first thing you notice here is that on the left we have some folders. So it's it's really easy to um, have too much, too many designs in your dashboard, and then then, then, then get confused um, regarding you know which design is what and where does it fit in your marketing. So it's important now and then to create folders and organize your designs in folders. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll just click on Add New Folder here. Um, then I click on the folder name. So as you can see, it's been added here. All right, so I just click on it. And you can see there's no designs in there yet, right? So let's go back to my designs. And um, so my folder is here untitled. I'm going to rename it to, um, let's say, sales page graphics, because I created a few of those lately. Click Save. All right, so it's been renamed. So my folder is here, Sales Page Graphics. And I'm gonna move, um, I have a Facebook testimonial here. So I'll just click on it, drag it, and drop it, drop it here. And as you can see, it gets added right away. Um, I have a signature here, so I'm gonna do the same. And I have a buy button here, so I'm gonna do the same. All right, so, so, so that's where it, um, the organization really works in, in, in Usain. So just make sure to always create folders relevant to uh, your business. You know? So again, I'm, I'm in the sales page graphics folder now. Um, I can navigate any of these folders from the um, left sidebar here. So I'm going to go into the social caster folder, for instance. You can see we have a lot of banners on this one. Um, and then, you know, I can go back to my designs. So that's how the folder works. Really handy um, for categorizing your designs. Um, the next thing uh, I'm going to show you is the um, various um, options you have um, when you hover on the designs. When you hover on the design, um, first you have the view option, you have the edit option. Um, you have a download button here, so that allows you to instantly uh, download your design to your desktop. So just click that and it's just, done, it's just get downloaded automatically. And next you have um, a drop down here with other options. So I'm just going to walk you through everything. Um, the first one, I guess, is the view options. When you click on view, it generates, it shows a preview of your design pretty much. So from here, you can download your design again. Um, you can edit it, so that will take you to the Usain Editor. Um, I'll show you in the next video how to use the Usain Editor and some tips and tricks. Um, and you can also share it. So if you click on share and copy that URL here, you can share that URL with um, pretty much anyone and let them see your design if you work with clients or partners. You know, this is a, a, an easy way to to show them what you're working on. And you can also obviously share on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Um, so I'm just gonna show you the share page quickly. So that's what it looks like. So as you can see, I have my design here. And it's it's it, this page is really handy if you're working with people and, and you want to show them what you're working on. And so the next uh, option here is the edit button. So the edit button is pretty much going to open the Usain software. And, and from there, you'll be able to edit your design. Um, then you have the download. And here you have a few more options. So you can rename your design if you want. 
Um, so I always try to make my design name um, reasonably accurate, you know, that really helps when you, when you start getting lots of designs in your account. Um, you can clone a design, so if you want to um, work on a, a second design um, with the same attribute as the first, you'll use the clone feature. And this is what we, I, I did here for this design, so you can see um, I have a get started um, I have a green buy button and an orange buy button. So I started with the orange buy button, I think, and then I um, I, I, dub, uh, I cloned it. So I used the clone feature, and then I edited the the clone, and I just changed the background color. Um, so the clone feature is is pretty useful too. And um, what else we have? Um, so the share we've seen. Um, the renaming, the clone. You can obviously delete um, your your design, so if you don't need it um, anymore, um, you can simply delete it from your user library. And the the last option is to submit. So uh, basically, um, at the moment, this option is not really. We haven't really pushed it a lot. But what this allows you to do is to submit a design to the user templates marketplace. Right, so right now, um, if you submit your design, then the user review team is going to see it and review it. And if it fits um, our design standards, then we, we, will, we will make it available for um, other users. So right now, please note that if you submit a design, um, it will be free to use for um, other user and customers. But what we are doing with this ultimately is that we are going to introduce a marketplace so that you can sell your design and put a price on them or buy designs from other people. Um, but right now, again, if you, if you hit the submit button, um, it will be free for, um, for all the other users if it's approved by the Usign um, review team. So uh, another thing you might want to, um, to, uh, to, to, to know is the uh, support button here. So if you click on support, you can um, get in touch with us pretty much. You just click on support and then you you click on new conversation and you send a message and it gets through directly to us. And here you also have in the top right, you also have more links. I'm gonna walk you through some of those. Um, so, you have, so you have a link to the templates page. Um, that's the same as um, clicking here on select template. So I'm gonna show you that in a second. Um, you have a link to your profile page um, we have a link to the help desk where you can find um, a community forum and, and video tutorials on Usign. And obviously you can log out from here as well. All right. So before we move on to the, uh, to the next page, to the, the templates page, and probably I'll show you the profile page as well, because that's, that's probably of interest. Um, Please note that, so if you want to launch a new design, well, you'll click on new design, obviously. And from here, you have different options when you create a new design. So you can create a new design from an image. So that means that if you have an image on your desktop and you want to edit it in new design, you'll just click on, on new from image and it's gonna upload, it's gonna, um, it's gonna show um, a pop-up that asks you to upload the image from your desktop. Um, so that's the new from image feature. Um, most people would go with the custom size. If you're, you know, if you're working on a custom project, you just click on custom size, uh, and then from inside the editor, you'll be able to uh, specify the exact size of your your project. Um, then you have um, all the other graphical options. So for instance, you have Facebook, and if you um, notice on some of these you have the dimensions directly on some of those you don't have dimensions so when there is no dimension it means that there is more options so I just clicked on Facebook and as you can see um, well we get the Facebook cover photo which is the main photo you have on Facebook but we also have all kinds of advertising templates for Facebook um, so then you choose which one works according to, to the campaign you're working on um, Twitter cover, so if you click on that, that will launch the editor directly with the right dimensions for the Twitter cover, YouTube channel, uh, Google Plus headers, um, Pinterest, web banners, 
um, Kindle covers, prints. Um, so for instance, in prints, if you click on there, then you have a couple options, business cards, uh, flyers. And by the way, we are always adding more to the, um, to the, to the sizes and, 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 and formats you can use. And um, same for infographics, uh, com card, and so on. So as you can see, pretty easy to launch a new design. Um, and that's about it for the, the My Designs tab. Now let's look into the profile quickly because there's something important there. Um, so once you get to your profile page, uh, you can edit your profile. So if it's your, your first time in Newsign, you might want to do that. So just click on Edit Profile, um, write down your name, add a picture of yourself. Um, that's not myself, obviously, and a description of what you do. Um, so right now the profiles are the profiles are private, but like um, I mentioned in the near future, we're going to turn Newsign into a marketplace. Um, so the profiles will be uh, pretty much public. And, and you'll be able to um, attract people to your profiles and, and sell your services. Um, so on the profile page, you have a, pretty much a summary of you know, your, um, your, your account. And then at the bottom here, you have the API key. So this API keys, key is going to be um, used by um, most of our um, API partners. So if you want to connect user into other softwares, you're going to need to use your API key. So um, if you want to learn more about uh, about the different API integration, which are already available for Usign, I think we have six integration um, at the moment. Um, just go to usign.com slash API iPhone integration. Um, and, uh, and from this page, you can download the free Usign plugin. So just click on there, you know, it's going to take you to the uh, download page for the Usign plugin. And uh, inside the Usign plugin, when you first install it, it's going to ask you for you for your uh, public key um, and token. And so, yeah, just install the Usign plugin on your WordPress website, and you'll be able to um, insert any of your Usign designs into any uh, WordPress posts or pages um, in real time. So it's it, it's a very handy. Um, little plugin and you can also change your password from here on the profile page and we're gonna add more features but that's that's coming soon um, pretty much for um, early 2016 so now let's go back to my designs and I'll go to the select template uh, page so from here you can see the templates and, and start from a template. It's like, you know, sometimes you want to start from scratch. Sometimes you want to use the templates to uh, kind of make it easier for yourself. So I'm now on the templates page. And by the way, if I want to go back to uh, my dashboard, to all my designs, I just click on dashboard here. And that's going to take me back right away. Okay, so back to the select template. Okay, so this is the templates page. Uh, I'm going to show you how it works pretty much. Um, from here, well, if you um, basically scroll down, you have um, all the templates that's been created in Usign that will um, slowly appear. So um, this is um, uncategorized uh, when, you, when you browse this way. So that's pretty much um, all the templates and the sorting is by default from the newest. Um, you can also suggest a template, so it's a cool little you know, feature we had in here. So you can send us a message and let us know like what kind of templates you would like. And, and we look at this pretty much every day. So it's really useful for us as a source of inspiration for the kind of, of templates that you need in your business. Um, so when you have a template, obviously you can preview it. Just click on the view button. Um, this one is a bit squashed, but it shouldn't display like that. Um, and then if you want to use it, you just click on use and it's going to take you to the Usign editor. And like on the, the left here, we have a, a few options. So the My Templates tab. So if you remember, there was um, a submit button I showed you in the dashboard. Um, so if you hover onto a design and you use this dot, uh, you could submit a design. So when you submit a design, it will appear here under my templates uh, once they have been approved, you know, so it's um, 
this is from where you, you will manage in the future when we are a marketplace um, all the templates that you've submitted to Usine. Um, but for now, um, let's go back to the regular templates page. And here you have a few sorting options. So these sorting options are, are mainly a way to sort templates by uh, the type of template and by the dimensions. So for instance, if I'm looking for Facebook cover, so I'll click on, on the Facebook um, drop down here arrow and I'll click on Facebook cover photo. And here we go. I have all the Facebook cover photo here. You can see um, every time in the in the description here it says Facebook cover photo, Facebook cover photo. So that's how you you you, you move into the categorization. Um, same thing if you are looking for our Kindle covers. Just click on that, and you have all the Kindle covers that appears. Um, again, very handy um, to navigate using this. Right, so now we also have tags. Um, the, the, the important thing with tags um, that you should, uh, I guess, take into account when navigating tags is that um, it's better to be at the level of the template types. So, for, so at the level of all templates. So if you click on here first, um, because the tags are applied uh, regarding to the, 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 the type of templates that you have chosen. So. For instance, if I went into Kindle cover and I've chosen um, and, and, I, and I, I selected um, a tag about, um, let's say, sales page, um, there won't be any results because there's no sales, sales page graphics under, under Kindle cover, if that makes sense. So just make sure you are here on all templates types and then you can browse with tags. So we had it some of the popular tags here. So I'll show you a few of those. So I'll just click on sales page here, that's one tag, and then click on search. And now I have all the sales page related, related tags. So as you can see, I have a signatures, I have a buy button, I have a secure checkout image, I, I have a has seen on um, social proof image. That's really useful for sales page. Um, I have some MacBook and iMac screenshots. Um, there's a, a bell shop button here and various buy button, a guarantee, a guarantee box, a text box, um, some headlines, some testimonial graphics, um, a webinar kind of slide or teaser, um, some pricing tables, and so on. So that's pretty much the um, some of the, the sales page tagged graphics, right? So let's take another example. Let's say I, I use the Christmas tag. So again, as you can see, I have all the Christmas related um, graphics in there. So very handy. And I'll give you a couple more examples. Um, so you have like a, a software related tag. So optimize press and click funnels are obviously going to be um, kind of tags related to, to sales page and landing page and, and opt-in pages. I'll show you a cool one is the lead magnet tag that we just put in place. So here we're gonna really um, have these uh, like sharp lead ma magnet um, ebook templates. Um, so here you have an email marketing report template. Um, here you have a double your sales um, ebook report. Here you have a 212 blog post ideals. Um, here you have a 100 things a day um, lead magnet templates and in the um, actual editor video I'll probably show you um, some of these um, templates as, as an example. Um, so that's lead magnet and um, let's try something else. Let's try maybe Fiverr. This is handy as well. If you sell on Fiverr, well, we get the gig. Um, if you sell on Fiverr, they're going to ask you for a gig cover. So that's the, the image that's going to display on the Facebook, on the Fiverr, sorry, uh, search results page about your gig. Um, so, so we have these and you know, you can just uh, go in there, click edit and edit the text and, and make it match. And it's already formatted perfectly for Fiverr. Um, similarly, I'll show you another cool, cool one is the YouTube one. Um, so these are like YouTube um, thumbnails, pretty much. We have three thumbnails here. Um, so the thumbnails are, are, are basically the, the still image that people see 
in the YouTube um, search results of your video. Um, so you can just uh, customize those and, and, and make it match your brand. And we also have an outro graphic as well. Um, this is the kind of graphics you had um, at the end of your video and inside those blocks then you had another video uh, playing you know just to say like if you like this video check out my other videos click here and we have a tutorial in the uh, Usine help desk that shows you exactly um, how to do that right so that's the tag so it, it's a pretty um, useful level of, of, of sub categorization um, which again is different from the template types right um, so I think I covered everything from here. Um, so um, the, the last thing I guess is the new template button here. So all of that work. So let's say um, I'm into uh, Kindle covers and I'm gonna create a Kindle cover now. If I click on new template here, it's gonna um, open a blank template, but with the Kindle cover uh, dimensions. Right, so same if I'm on, on the Twitter cover and I click on new template, it's going to be a blank one but with the Twitter cover dimensions. So what you want to do is um, choose your template, then click on use and it's going to open the um, editor. And, and from then you can, you can edit it and customize it and, and make it your own. Um, so that's about it for the um, Usign dashboard and templates page overview. And if you have any questions, as usual, feel free to, to get in touch with us. Thanks for watching.